Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how I made this landscape using Arbon Studio Foliage Volume 1 and Eminenja. Before we dive in, everything you're seeing here comes from my pack Arbon Studio Foliage Volume 1 Nanite Forest. I've worked as a AAA vegetation artist for years, for studios like Rockstar Games and others. And this pack goes beyond what we had there. It's handcrafted, fully nanite ready, built to drop straight into a nail, so you can create dense, cinematic forest in minutes. No guesswork, all next gen, and there is more to come. The link is in the description, check it out. It all started with a simple landscape. And as you can see, I'm just painting some shapes here and there. It's super easy. Once this is done, I have a simple result. I'm just applying my material instance. And in the master material, I'm just enabling uh, displacement. From there, I can apply my layers to it and start painting my path. and just enabling the night landscape. All right. Once the landscape was ready, I blocked the main shapes using cubes and cylinders. Next, I placed large cliff static meshes all along the edges of the playable area. The main goal here was to hide the whole sculpted landscape from the terrain tools because without them you can clearly see those unnatural slopes and flat edges. Cliffs act as a natural barrier, breaking up those shapes and blending the edge of the map with the rest of the environment. They also bring a lot more life to the scene. The roof surface, the cracks and shadows they create make the environment feel more detailed and believable. It's the kind of small change that makes a big difference when you look at the scene as a whole. These cliffs come from Megascans, so the textures and details are already high quality. They are fully nanite ready, so I can keep all the detail without worrying about performance drops, even with a lot of them placed across the map. For the background, I placed large distant mountains to create a natural vista. They help frame the scene and guide the eyes. After setting up the cliffs and mountains, I started placing the trees. I see trees as the main shapes for the viewer's eyes, so their position really matters. I place them by hand instead of using any automated scattering, because this way I can control the composition and guide the player's attention. The goal was to make every main angle look balanced and natural without random glitter. Now let's move on to the foliage tool. I started by placing my rocks. These first ones were small but important for creating shapes, even at a small scale. After that, I began shaping my main path using flat stones. I used cycle through single placement so I could pick each mesh manually and control how it sits on the ground. Once the stones were in place, I added grass playing with a random scale setting so the size of each clump feels natural and varied. Next I placed another set of rocks. These ones blend more smoothly with the terrain. They don't stand out as much as the first set but they help break up flat areas. Around these I started adding my other plants and my bumble bushes, filling the edges and giving the scene more density. Then I went back to the path and filled the gap between the flat stones with a mix of all my smaller plants, making sure each space feels intentional.
Finally, I spent the last moments placing grass along the side of the path, blending it softly into the surrounding landscape, so the transition feels smooth and believable. Alright, I'm a senior vegetation artist, I'm not a YouTuber, and English is not my first language, as you've probably heard. So please don't be worried on me, this is my first video. We are building something really cool for foliage in video games and it would be great if you could help us by checking out the pack on my fab page and following us for more. The link is in the description and I leave you now with the rest of the walkthrough and I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you.